Yes, yes, yo. Hi, everybody. Hey, I'm back on the camera. Woo, the battery is all charged. <laughs> and I even turned on the microphone. Can you imagine? Pro streaming right here. Mm. Just, just Minko? Just, just, just Misko? Just Misko! Hi! Oh, dang! Oh! You're not gonna lie, it was rough getting up to date, but hey! I saw an amazing TV show yesterday. Did you know about this thing called Star Wars? <laughs> You're not gonna believe this! <laughs> Mishko, Mishko, okay, that's good, Mishko. Um, yeah, no, I'm really enjoying Endor. I think um, uh, if you haven't watched Endor and you are you are into Star Wars, you, you, you've seen a Star Wars in your life, then you owe it yourself to, to get on the good stuff, to get on the Endor train. It's an amazing TV show and something that uh, like the last episode was like tremendous. Um, something I really liked, um, that this show really exemplifies really well, is that um, it has it, there was a space battle, right? In the space, I'm not going to spoil it, um, but the space battle is like, this is a uh, franchise that has a lot of space battles. Mm, so it's kind of difficult to, you know, to top it because there was already so much before. Um, and, and and yet this show managed to top it somehow, to like introduce elements that I've never seen before. Not even like in Star Wars, but like in any kind of show. But also, it, it also did such a great job with this, this, this one action scene, this one space battle, is because the show is also incredibly good storytelling. And um, something that, especially like this scene, I was re-watching the scene over and over again because I was just in awe, like it worked so well. And there's technical reasons for why, I'm sure, but also because of the narrative reasons. Because it's like, I feel narrative quite often is like telling a joke, right? Um, and the action scene is like the punchline. Um, and you often focus so much on the punchline. And it's not the punchline that is funny, it's the whole joke that is funny. You need the setup leading into the punchline. The punchline needs to be like the, the culmination of the joke, right? And I think that's like a very good analogy of this is not just how jokes work. This is how storytelling in general works. It's never just like this one scene. Yes, this one scene is where everything comes together, obviously. So that's why you focus on it so much. But also it's everything that leads up to the scene, right? And um, this one specific show, Andor, is, is made by somebody who knows how to do storytelling. And they do a really good job setting up everything. So um, yes, people say it's a very slow show. And it is a slow show, but you need that slowness. You need the time. You need to spend time to set up things that then pay off. And that was like, it, it's, it's really wonderful when it pays off. It's just like such. <laughs> and that was uh, definitely one episode where it's like, wow, okay. <laughs> I'm really in it right now. I'm emotionally attached to the action that is happening. So it's not only is it awesome action. But also, I'm so much on board with what's happening. <laughs> I'm like cheering and like, yes. It's, um, yeah, and like there's a lot of movies, and also in Star Wars as well, where there is action and you're like, okay, yeah, wow. <laughs> uh, uh, Mishka says, my controversial opinion is that I'm, uh, I'm actually not a huge fan of Star Wars. <gasps> How could you? But I'm always open to have my mind changed. Maybe I force my girlfriend to watch it with me. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> don't force anybody to watch something they don't like. Um, but yeah, no, it's a good show. It's a good show. And there's been like multiple Star Wars shows now, and they were all fine. Like Mandalorian was fine. It was it was a new breath of fresh air. Then uh, Boba Fett. We, let's not. We're not gonna talk about Boba Fett. <laughs> it's it's okay. Fine. <laughs> Um, and then there was like the Han Solo thing, uh, no, not Obi-Wan Kenobi thing, which was good in that other ways, but it's also like, like okay, yeah, doing the franchise thing, you know, and then Andor, <laughs> nope, 
<laughs> like everything, it makes everything look so child, childish that came before. And not in the sense that, you know, things that are um, adult are better than childish things. There's value of, in, in childish things as well, but it's just like somebody figured out how to do the Star Wars, how to elevate Star Wars to a new level. I hope, the, um, I hope whoever is in charge of Star Wars got the message and it's like, okay, <laughs> let's continue more of these kinds of things because that's very interesting. I'm sorry, I had to, I had to be, I had to do my Star Wars thing at the beginning because I'm so hyped about this. And I'm very sad that there's just one episode left. Mm. Right, so um, I've been thinking about what's, what's happening today because you see, we have like our Halo and uh, it's not working quite the way we want, want it to work. And actually, I wanted to maybe sit down yesterday evening and, and figure this out. Hey, Mr. Jo jo Jolo. Um, and I just couldn't. I just like, it, it was late and I was tired and I was just like splurging already. I'm like, okay, never mind. Um, there's, by the way, this, somebody t t told me this is, this is not cool. This little thing here, this little pixel is not cool. We're gonna have to fix that. Um, but also, um, there's this problem that these, um, these cards, they go off the edge and they disappear and it takes a while to, for them to reappear. And somebody in a chat was, um, in the Discord chat was yesterday there and was like, no, that's the way it's supposed to work, right? This, they should be like, when you look at them edge on, they should disappear and then reappear. And no, uh, I mean, yes, technically yes, but also, not quite this way. So let me show you. I'm, I'm trying to explain what the problem is. Hi! Ooh, I didn't see it. Look, paint looks different in Windows 10. Wow. Hey, H E. So yeah, mm, that's not good. That's that's way too thin. Give me give me a thicker brush. Give me the thickest. That's four pixels. The thickest brush you can have. Like it looks new, but it's still trash. Come on, give me a thick brush. Um. So like this is this is the circle, right? And then when you have a card that goes like this. And then eventually it gets just like to to like one pixels, and then on the other side it looks like this, right? Oh man, I'm I'm talented. You can tell. And then the on here on the other side as well. Sick wallpaper, yeah. Keeping everything everything, uh, uh, you know, in in theme. Okay, so this is kind of like what we are having, right? And you can see that when the cards appear, go to the, towards the edge, it should get thinner. And when you look at it straight on, on the, on the card, like edge on, then it should basically disappear. And that's true. That's what we are trying to achieve. But there's two caveats to this. First of all, the cards are not flat. This is expecting that the cards are flat, but they're not. And when you're looking from the side on a card that is curved, which is, it should see something like this. Right. <laughs> this is me trying to do some shading. <laughs> Let's not do that shading. Uh, I'm gonna just fill it with pink, right? Pink, pink is the backside. Right? Should look something like this. Green is the front and pink is the backside. You should see the curvature of the card when it's going around the corner. So it shouldn't disappear. That's one aspect. And the other aspect is like, even if we assume that the cards are straight, um, they should be invisible. They should be edge on for like a brief second. It should, they just like flash into being like one frame being edge on and then continue going outside. And that's not what we see. That's not what, what we are having here right now. That's not what we're seeing, right? They like literally disappear and then reappear. 
Like they, it's not not a, a short moment where they disappear. It's they're like really gone for 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 a while, for a couple of frames. Um, so that's that's a bit of a problem. Now, why is this happening? I've been thinking about how to solve this problem, and <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna have to figure this out. But let me let me draw. Let me. Well, I don't. I have some ideas, but um, the, the details of the impl implementation is something that still eludes me a little bit. Uh, but let me let me show you something. Let me let me show you something. Do, 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 do. It sounds like a tricky a tricky issue to solve. Yeah, yeah. But it's 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 gonna be fine. Don't worry. I'll be here and holding. Holding your hand, and then maybe you can hold my hand, and then maybe we can figure it out. Um, uh, 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 like this. Let me let me draw something. Oh wait, that's wrong. I'm just drawing this part that we are, that is the, the part of the sprite sheet. I'm drawing it back onto the screen so we can see what, what is happening in the sprite sheet so we can have, have a better idea what, what the, the problem is. Okay, so now at the bottom of the screen you see the, the sprite sheet. You see what the sprite sheet looks like. And now uh, one last thing that I wanted to also clarify is that the back side, uh, maybe I, I didn't verbalize it so clearly, but the back side that we're seeing, the, the, the bright, the, the peach colored back side of the cards, that is just the front mirrored. And I do this because kind of I kind of assume that um, there's like four cards on the halo and they're all evenly spaced. So that the back side is always a mirror of the front side. Um, now I, I did tweak the back side a little bit uh, and I kind of have to do apply a similar tweak to the front side now. Okay, so the problem is that we're having here kind of like okay, one, I think one of the problems is that we are having like this extra white um, sprite sheet, but the halo adds before, right? You can see the cards are leaving the screen here, are leaving the sprite sheet here, that's where they're leaving. And kind of like at the same time when the sprite sheet, the, the card hits that edge, it appears on the other side, right? So it looks continuous. And that's because they are 66 pixels apart from each other, which is kind of like almost the half of the width of the screen. So you can always see kind of like two to three cards. Like when, hard, when, car, when card hits this edge of the screen, it appears on the other side. It's because of the spacing. If we made them a bit closer together, then that wouldn't work out so well. But because it's exactly 66, so it's almost 64, um, when one card hits the one edge, it, uh, another one appears on the other side. And that's not what we see here. Look, when this card ad, ad, meets the edge of the halo, it doesn't appear on the other side. There is a, you have to wait a little bit. That's because like the edge of the halo is here. So the, uh, when the card hits the edge of the, the halo, it still has a way to go until it circles back. Right? So the solution here, I think, one of the solutions, or at least it will make look a lot better. If we make it so, and by the way, I think in the, in the backside I fixed it. So when, when a card hits the, the end on the backside card, the backside card hits the edge of the halo, it appears on the other side at, at the same time, right? 
So we kind of have to do the same thing we did on the back side, but from on the front side. The only problem is, that's why I'm a bit struggling with this. If we just take the entire width of the screen, if we just take the entire width of the sprite sheet and squish it down a little bit so it fits the halo, because the halo doesn't go across the entire screen. It just is a bit, there's a bit margins on the side of the halo, right? So if we take the entire width of the sprite sheet and squish it down, then the cards also get squished down and they won't be as nicely readable anymore. And especially like in the center, I want the cards to be really nice and crisp. And it's fine if they get a bit squiggly and, and you know, messed up once they reach the edges. But like in the center, I want them to be crystal clear like they are in the top here. So you can read, you can see exactly the connector pieces. Which means we kind of like have to add some kind of distortion that squishes them together at the edges, but leaves them uh, at, the, at the correct size in the center. And that would be actually physically, like uh, optically, perspectively correct. That's, in the, that's, that's something that we should have F anyway. And we're just not doing it because it didn't matter too much. But now kind of like we need it for other reasons as well. Not just because it's um, correct from in terms of perspective, but also we need kind of like this repeating thing here. <coughs> Very long explanation. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So first of all, let us do the, the bad thing. The... Okay, so here... I want to fix this a little bit because... Um, Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think, especially if I'm just sitting there and quiet and contemplating the <laughs> algorithms, then, um, then it's easy to like be like, what is even happening? Especially if you, if you missed some of the episodes, right? So I think it's a yeah. There's this halo is like we got the basics done, but like getting like the the last mile is is the difficult part, right? By the way, I'm I'm yesterday the problem with the camera. I don't know quite what the problem is. I, I actually checked the manual and the manual says like the camera should be charged using the cable and I should be able to use the camera while it's being charged. So um, I think the problem with the camera is that it doesn't get enough juice and it's like this USB-C thing, right? Where it's, you just don't know how much electricity is coming out of the USB-C and sometimes it's okay, but sometimes not. And it, there's like no clear indicators how much is flowing and so I like it seems like everybody these days like each household has to have like an uh, USB amp meter so you can you can actually measure and see what the, the, your devices are actually putting out which is tremendously bad the, the good thing about the old USB was that it was just like standard like it's always this, this thing right but now it's like a oh, whole power delivery and it's like this watts and that watts and whatever so anyway, I think there's like two little watts going through the USB cable that I'm using right now. And maybe it's even the cable's fault, I don't even know. So I ordered like the, like an analyzer that can check, tell me how much electricity is getting into the camera. <laughs> I would agree my early enacted like spiral aesthetic. That's valid, that's a valid approach. I'm not even joking. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new variable called PRG and that's gonna be like, Progress. And uh, progress will start at one and uh, zero and end at one. So the kind of like we have a, like a variable here. And then the help is gonna be PRG times two uh, minus one. And then we're gonna do our beautiful things with help. And about PRG, we're gonna keep it just around. So we can use it is because you get like the sh shad x uh, I was um, about to mention USB, uh, USB slot amping but if it's USB it should be fine howdy the gecko uh, the gecko um, yeah but the thing is so this one of those things right it's a camera like the input is USB-C 
but it's plugged into a normal USB A port. Right? So, and who knows if, what, what, what ampage that USB A port is putting out. It's a brand new screen that I plugged it into. It has like a built in USB hub, so it should be fine. But who knows if it's fine? Nobody knows. Then the thing is like, even if I look at the screen, there's like a little symbol that says, like it's charging. So. Yeah, no, no, not, not both ends are C. Uh, but that's definitely one of the things I can try later on. If I find that um, the ampage is a problem, then I will try to attach it to my notebook. But then who knows if the notebook is delivering enough wattage to power the camera, right? It's just a notebook. <laughs> I swear. And then maybe I should, I need to get like a, there's also a USB hub that I have that can also use, I don't know. It's, it's, I, I will figure this out, I will figure this out. Let's see if that works. Oh, yeah, I see one of those things. You can see also how I animate the, the halo, right? I just animate the sprite map and then that changes the halo. Okay, this works, um, but I was just looking at, I have to admit, I was just looking uh, at the backside because that's, I'm using the PRG variable for the backside and I just want to make sure that I didn't break the backside. Now I can use the same, kind of like the same thing, like this is 127 minus PRG, right? This is kind of like the mirroring I was talking about. And then I can use the same thing for the front. And you can see the problem here, right? See, now it looks better. It, the flipping is, looks a lot, a lot cleaner now, right? Also here, it, it, this is now a very clean um, halo. But you can also see that how the cards are squished now, right? God dang! God dang it! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the edges look better, but the front is looking worse. So what we do need to do now is something that where it's on the edges is squished, maybe squished even more. And then in the center it gets wider and then it gets squished on the edges. And that's kind of what we had, right? Because that's, that's, you see, like in the center, it's it's wide, and as it gets to the to the to the edges, it gets squished, so to speak. That's what we actually want, anyway. We just didn't have it until now, and it's like it didn't look too bad. Um, so we didn't didn't implement it, but now we have to implement it. And here we get to this problem that. I have to read my own tutorial. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's one of those again. Uh, I have to read my own tutorial. Uh, Alexa, I love her. Sir, sir. Because this is all from my tutorial. That's why I'm doing this. You think I'm doing the tutorials to teach other people? Nah, I'm just, it's, this is just my notebook, man. <laughs> I just make it really nice so I can find it easier later on. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that's the one, that's the one. Hey, Snowja. Buen dia. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. really weird I'm not sure oh yeah So we're looking for a mathematical function, and that function is, is kind of like I'm I not sure how to pull it off. So if we have like the circle, right? Oops. The function that we're looking for is. By the way, if there's any mathematicians in the audience, now is the time to speak up and help me out on this. Where's the threads when you need one? Um, okay, so this is kind of like our halo from the top, so to speak. And what we're looking for is kind of like, okay, so the width of our, the width of our, of our, um, of our cards is one at the center here and zero here and then equally also zero here so we need a function that goes from like a function that goes like this right kind of like a circle function that starts at zero arrives at one here and it goes back to zero think but that's not quite the function we're looking for what we're looking for a function is that just tells us you know at any given circle like at any given uh, position in a circle where does it map to the to the sprite sheet right oops I want I want the in, in the center to be mapping it to the center, but on the edges, like on, on the far edges, I want it to be not quite map like so it should be straight in the center, but it should be kind of like a bit diagonal in, in the on the edges. Um, but I think when when we have this, we can maybe get to this. The cosine is what uh, does that curve between. Yeah, I was thinking if it's maybe cosine. But the thing is, and that's why I'm a, uh, unsure, the last time it wasn't cosine though, right? The last time it was this. The last time it was this. Y equals squared. So that's why I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit confused. But maybe you're right. Maybe 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 that's 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 the truth. Okay. Just thinking about it won't help us. So let us start drawing things on the screen.
So let me let me just draw. Let's go like sixty four uh, times PRG. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think you might be right here. I think we might be uh, we might be looking at a at a sine and cosine kind of thing. Okay. Uh. I just want to, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I'm, I'm just thinking about some things. Okay, so 64, we want to draw two lines, like a line for zero, one line for one, something like this. Um, minus 32, plus 32. And we're gonna make them red too. I, I want to like create some, some graph so I can see what's happening, okay. Interesting. Uh, and then we're gonna, here we can trace our graph. So we're gonna go with 64 plus PRG times 32. All right, so we have now a progress. Um, the red line is the progress, starts at zero and goes to one, right? And so, local, Yes, <laughs> equals, um, let's go with sine PRG. And then I'm gonna draw yes in, in green. Oops. Okay. Wait, what, did I, I didn't draw PRG, draw me PRG. I still want to have PRG around. Okay, so off the bat, that's not good. That's not what we're looking for. Um, so maybe we won't have a cosine. Uh, again, not quite what we're looking for. No, it's, 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 I mean, it is kind of a trigonometry, but it's not. Um, I, I mean, I, I derived a function, but it's, it's yeah, it's, it's difficult. Looking for a half circle or a quarter circle. Uh, a half circle. Um, Interesting, I divided by two, but I thought that would solve the problem, but it doesn't. Oh, interesting, huh? Yeah, I mean, this is good. The, the, the peak at one is good, but I guess these things are supposed to go on the edges, right? But I'm not sure if co cosine is the right. It's not, I'm, I'm, it should be, hmm. Division elongates a cosine. The original occasion. You think it's just HLP? Okay, let's try that. Not quite. Oh, yeah, 
I guess that's that's the that's the ticket, Blatty. I guess that's the ticket. Who who would have thought that uh, the answer was there all along? Uh, I, no, 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 it's, it's correct, it's correct. Because the positive values are down here. Yeah. So it was the right choice after all. But this is just the width of the cards. What we actually need to do is kind of like the scaling. You can have to do like a one divided by this. So it kind of approaches uh, infinity. So it's like Yeah, like this, see? So it starts at one and it gets gets increasingly higher. That's that's looking good. Yeah, the, the pip is, the little pip, the pip is a rounding thing. That's something that's very easily fixed. Don't worry about the pip. It's gonna be fun. Like, look, um, you see the, they see the pip now, right? You see the pip now. Let me, let me put another one in there. See the pip here, and then uh, all right, plus zero point five, zero point one even. Now the pip is gone. It's it's no problem. The pip is not something I'm I'm. I'm too afraid of. Okay, let's try to get this going. So So we kind of want to go 64 minus. Text uh, equals. <laughs> Let's just start with 64. So basically we are sampling now like every pixel of the of the um, no it's actually in the center here every pixel of the of the halo is just the center here right but now we want it so that uh, you know we go left to the uh, left and right to the right <sighs> why why are things so complicated right
So it's like 64 plus uh, PRG2 times 64. Let's try that. Okay. And again, it's the same problem that we have. Kind of very similar mapping, just like rewrote it slightly. Now I don't want it to have 64. I want I want to achieve like a nice. What is this? What, what, what can can we have this? 96. Um, 96 divided by two. Oh my gosh! I cannot do math. I'm I'm 48. Okay. So it's like this. This should get us a clean look. It's not that clean though. I'm not sure why it doesn't, doesn't look clean. Is it rounding errors? That would be bad if that's rounding errors. It's rounding errors. I, I'll, yeah, it's, I think it might be routing errors. Ah, no. Ah. Yeah. Does that work? Well, no, but it looks very interesting. <laughs> uh, wait, I have to multiply by 20, right? Nah. Nah. But maybe... Maybe if we, if we can get it in, into one equation, maybe, maybe the, the rounding errors won't be there. So divided by 96 and multiplied by 48. Kind of, I think we achieved something here. <laughs> White boys. What's happening? Okay, so now it goes from 0 to 96 for some reason. That's not what I wanted. Hmm, 
let's, let me let me do the calculation again. Ah, I hate this. I hate that the rounding error is causing the problem. Ah, oh, that makes it so much more difficult. I cannot just do it step by step. I have to. Do, oh. mm. <laughs> ah. Um. Six times two. Oh, wait, ninety six and two, that, that is forty eight. So forty eight. I think this would be the, I think that that might be it. this yeah 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 no 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 M minus no 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 um minus one yeah always doing the same mistakes Just same rounding errors. Ah, no! It's just the same rounding errors again. What can you do? Yeah, that's 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 a bum scheme. Same thing. Divided by ninety-six. But this time we're not dividing by ninety-six. We're dividing by uh, zero point nine six. Um, Eight minus hundred. Uh, yeah, we don't need this. Um, and then we're going to go here. PRG times zero point four eight. Will the rounding's error get better here? They do get better. Ah, I solved the problem. <laughs> you. Okay. 
Hell yeah. Woo! <laughs> um, okay. Um, I feel like we need, just need to this. Ah, we divided. Let's try that. Woo! Oh, 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 funky! <laughs> Not quite what I was looking for, but man, look at this. Did you see this? <laughs> Trippy! <laughs> Okay, what is happening here? Oh, I think we're kind of achieving what we what we want to do, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're achieving what we want to do. It's just, um, so they, they get wider. Oh, they get wider. You should get, uh, so maybe we should divide them by HLP. Let us pray we're not getting into, I see, now they get, yeah, see, now you see the foreshortening. It's just now it's too strong. Okay. Um, we uh, let let us get rid of some of our helpers. We don't need the helpers anymore. We don't need the yes, <laughs> yes queen. Uh, but I do want to have a line at zero comma no it's sixteen comma zero comma hundred twenty seven uh sixteen comma hundred twenty seven comma eight so I want to have the left edge of the halo and I want to have the right edge of the halo Nope. So you can see how how they they just it's 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 just too strong. So we need to just embiggen it. Uh, the HRP. So we just need to do HP HRP, and, and we're just gonna we're just gonna. I don't know if dividing is good. Let's see what happens. Oh, the dividing is not definitely not good. Oh, yeah, multiplying is also not good though. <laughs> um, yeah, because HLP is one in the center, and we want to keep it at one in the center. We just don't want to get it to zero on the on the sides. We just want to lift it. So it's like divided by two plus zero point five. See? Ah, uh -huh, that's better. Oh. Um. Hmm. Would be nice to find out the exact ratio that we need. Wait, we might not need that ratio. Maybe there's this easier way. Maybe there's just like we can just manipulate with this. Yeah. 
No, actually, no, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Let's keep it at 48. Um, yeah, but because if you change this, then it gets wider in the center. Uh, can't be the 48. I think it was 96.2, and you made it. And now you're making me second guess. 48 is 96 divided by 2, right? I, I did it divided by 2 because... Yeah, 96 is not the right value. It's, it's gonna be ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. can actually maybe oh there's a ways of tweaking this but so wait let me think about it so the progress goes from zero to hundred We could tweak the progress potentially if we just go progress. Progress equals like ten. Ten plus progress divided by hundred and ten. Right? That's a, that's something that we can do. Uh, no, not divide by hundred ten, but by one point one. I think that's good, but it's the exact opposite of what we're trying to do, I think. It starts at 10. Oh man, the, the math is really strong. I'm really struggling with the math right now. Uh, right now it starts, then if you do that, then it starts at 10 and ends at, if just at 10, it starts at 10 and ends at 110. But what we want, let me, let me do that. Oh, I had it in, the, in this mode all the time. So, okay, so right now, we, our progress bar goes from zero here to 100 here. If we just add plus 10, then it starts at 10 here and goes to 110 here. But I want it actually from 110 to go to 90. Um, so what we need to do is we're gonna go 10 plus whatever we had there, divide, uh, multiply it by 0 0.8, yeah. 10 plus g times 0 0.8. Oh, it's getting there. No! No! <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. It's all stretched in the center. I don't want that. No! <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I'm starting to feel that, that I'm trying to achieve something that is that might not be really possible. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. 
No, I think the HLP might be the right approach after all. Uh, but I don't know if that's the right approach though. I think it's it's the same thing though, right? The ten uh, ze zero, uh, zero point in, it was looked almost perfect in the middle. What was the issue with that? Yeah, it didn't go to the edges. Um, there is a different way of, of, of us approaching this, which is to make a segmented kind of solution, which, which mm, mm, might be something that we need to do. Yeah, see, the, the problem that we're trying to achieve here is if you have a circle. Um, let's say the circle is too wide, right? The circle is too wide. There's two ways of doing this. One is to say, or, or uh, rather, the circle needs to be wider. Uh, what do you do? Well, one way is to make an oval, right? Like, let's say here are the, here are the edges. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I not get the problem now. So here are the edges and the circle is not touching the edges, so we want to add the circle to be wider. Well, you can make, obviously, you can make the circle wider. You can make the circle wider. Kind of like inflate a balloon, so to speak. But now you get stretched, the balloon gets stretched in the center, right? If you inflate the balloon, it gets stretched in the center. So the other solution is to. Yeah, I don't know what the other solution is. This is tough. It would be it would be heartbreaking. Like it's just I have one half an hour left. Yeah, oval. But how oval? Yeah, yeah. I, I guess the solution would be to to make the circle an oval, right? In the sense that it 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 gets bigger, but also an oval. So in the center, it looks fine. Something like this, right? So when you look edge on at the circle, uh, this will look fine. It will just more harshly go in, um, like the stretching at the sides will be more harsh. No, the problem with the 10, uh, 0 0.8 was that the the circle is too small. It doesn't touch touch the edges. So so we tr if we make this, but if we make the circle bigger, it gets it gets stretched in the center. Mm, so I guess we need, then we need as uh, to counteract it. We need to make the circle more extreme. I don't know. It's a tough solution. Uh, and th th there's other solution for this, right? So you can just make just two circles on the edges. Like two, okay, let me, let me show you what I mean. Oh, uh, no, I didn't want to, ah, oh, God. Redo. The other solution is to make just like smaller circles on the edges. And then, but in a flat person in the center. And it's kind of like, you know, you will get the foreshortening at the edges, but you will get also a nice, clear image at, at the beginning. 
but the problem is that you have to segment this a little bit and it's a bit awkward. But it might be the way to go. Well, the we solved the rounding errors. It's just like the math gets more complicated when we solve the rounding error errors, right? Uh, oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, let me let me run this again. Let me see what what is happening. Let me let me address the Zero point one in here. I, 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 I really don't like that little pip. Right. So right now, what we see is the circle is too small, right? And if we make the circle wider, let's make the circle wider. Let's just make the circle. Wider. Let's just do it. And then we're gonna try to counteract somehow, somehow, somehow else. PRG two equals uh, ten plus PRG two multiplied by zero point eight, right? So now you can see there's stretching in the center. Cir circle goes wider. It doesn't seem symmetrical though now. Did I make did I make a mistake? Yeah, it's not symmetrical even. Maybe it's a rounding error. Okay, whatever. Let's just continue. Let's, let's, just, let's just see what how far we can get. So three um, would mean that we're gonna be at two hundred, uh, one hundred and thirty at the end. Uh, somehow it's it never how how far do we need to go fifty means we're gonna be at two hundred right So weird. Is it just an effect this trip? so early it's just the math just like uh, really eludes me here
Yeah, I really don't like how... This is just all... Did I paint the line wrong? 112. Fine, we, 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 we need a different approach. This is not, this is not doing anything for us. Um, so, you know, let's freeze it in time. Let's freeze this. And let's make a new calculation for tax. All right, so Um, PRG times 128 was was the solution until it read until now, but it's not good because it squishes, right? Um, so uh, if we do go PRG times 96, weird how it looks bad. Why does it look bad now? Oh, because of the rounding, right? Is it the rounding problem now? But why did it look fine and when it was 128? That's something that's so so weird to me. Well, I guess it also doesn't look fine. I just like it it's already looks very unfine anyway, so it doesn't matter, right? Okay, so let's keep the PRG2 around to get rid of the rounding error. Um, and we're gonna go PRG2 times uh, 1.28. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Now everything is broken. Oh wait, wait! Because the, that's that's not the way. Yeah, because we did we did this is this already going a bit ahead of us. So let's let's um, rewrite this a little bit. Yeah, this should be ninety six. Okay, something like this, right? But that's squished. That looks squished. Okay, because I have 96. Okay, okay, I got it. So if I did do it like uh, times dot 96, yeah, and then we get our nice and clean looking uh, things in the center. So let's just like do a linear thing. Let's just not make it any complicated kind of thing, which just gets all linear. So, um, wait, I wanted to, to watch something because I, th I think I, I have also, I know a problem that would be it, it just created. Yeah, okay. Okay, see, mm -hmm. it's not symmetrical because you can see that when the flag enters the screen, it appears here as, uh, as well. So the left edge is mapped to this. But here on the other side, this is kind of like here. So we kind of like shifted the entire thing to the left. This might have been the problem previously as well. Right? So that's why actually I had like the 64 minus.
this. That was that was what we had kind of like in the previous. We're just recreating the previous thing. Well, we do, but but we kind of also have to maybe 48 minus 100. Nope. Minus, but it should be maybe plus. Well, it's sixty four, forty eight. Okay, okay. See, this is this, this is now the way it's supposed to work when it touches the red line and also disappears here, they're all synced up. I tell you, I tell you. Interesting, the, the background is now completely off sync, but yeah, I guess that's, that's, that's to expect. Oh man. I can't believe that this is such a, this is such a difficult problem. Yeah, and now there needs to be something I multiply it with. That is one in the center and <laughs> we're kind of like in the same situation. But we can make it linearly now. Like we don't, you don't have to do this crazy insane thing, right? So just like one in the center and then some other value. Actually, stretching it. Let's make it like really obvious. Yeah. So higher number means it's it's stretched more. Okay. Um, it's smaller than zero point five. should start at 0 and go to 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 no yeah not times 2 so the, this should sound out that 1 and goes to 0 plus, plus 1 multiplied by 0 0.1 or something yeah, 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 let's try that. Let's make it more extreme. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of what we need.
Okay, 0 0.4 is not good, 0 0.35. Okay, that seems good. Uh, else. Uh, is one plus. PRG. Minus zero, zero point five. Okay. So now you see that, yeah, now, now we, let's remove the helplines. Okay, so now the edges look a little bit better. Not ideal still, but better. Let's, let's try to make something, put something in the center. Still a bit. I don't like the center, but we can change that. Is then missing. Yeah, see now now the center is more clearer. We have a bigger dead zone, so to speak, where the where the center is a bit clearer. Clear zone misaligned, what? Oh yeah, I, I, I see it, yeah. Weird. 
Is it, is it because of my manipulation? Eh? Yeah, it's misaligned. Whoa, what's with the mouse? The mouse just did something on me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know why it's misaligned. Okay, sorry. Yeah, but look now. Yeah, so you can see it's, it gets squished at the edges a little bit, but that that also looks more realistic. Let's try to fill up the entire thing, and then we're gonna we have to I have to call it quits today because today I made a mistake. Today is the the day I I'm gonna go with my daughter to the dentist. It's gonna be an experience for everybody involved. <laughs> oh man, I'm not looking forward to that one. <laughs> Gosh, I think we, we figured it out. I think, I think, I think we're getting there. Ha, ah, yeah, have treats close at hand to distract. <laughs> well, the whole point is that she's eating too many treats, don't you understand? <laughs> No, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. She's, she's, uh, she hasn't had a bad experience with the with the dentist yet, so she doesn't know. <laughs> she doesn't know the pain. <laughs> okay, so this is more a complete. Yeah, this this halo looks a lot better now. You can t clearly tell, and it doesn't really matter that it's linear. I think it doesn't. It it's not not such a big difference. Um. Uh, and it looks like really perspective cor perspectively correct now. And, and still we have like the very clear um, indication in the center. That's really nice. That's really cool. Yeah, the, the, the illusion is perfect now. Or almost perfect. See, for example, here the, there's one pixel on the side. It's, it's good enough, it's good enough. Yeah, yeah, it has to be go behind the head for sure. Yeah, yeah, but that's something that we're gonna solve when we're gonna solve the the girl. All right, so I'm glad we we arrived here. So uh, yeah, I have to go now. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this, on this beautiful stream. I will stream this evening because there's no Ender today. What a sad day! But on the plus side, there's gonna be me. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for joining in for the stream. Uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, thank you so much for watching me um, uh, having my head smoked. Um, yeah, see you this evening, guys. Bye-bye. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yo. Oh. Hi, everybody. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, Omisko. Hey, Yasumisko, Yasumisko. <laughs> I was gonna say yes, yes, queen. Hey, PCK404, nice. Bretsky in the chat as well, sweet. I got something, just arrived. It's the, it's the voltmeter for the USB. I realized too late that it doesn't actually pass through the data, so I just, <laughs> I, just I mean, I just checked. The camera, when it's on, it uses, Half an amp. Uh, is it amp? Uh, yeah, I think it's amp, right? Half an amp? Ampere? Oh, half an A. Oh wow, that ar arrived quickly. Yeah, yeah, uh, Amazon thing. So yeah, we're gonna see uh, if um, 
so I'm gonna assume that even if the data is running, that's the same thing. And I'm gonna try some other chargers to see if if that's just what the screen is delivering or if that's how the camera uses. I don't know. But today the camera seems to be fine. Anyway, enough talk. There's uh, there's new developments I, that I wanted to, to discover with you guys. Um, so we got some new music from a, a Garoba music. And I am... Uh, you got to find out. I'm eager to find out what it is all about. Let's see. Let's tone down the, the stream in the background. Let's see how that how that works. Oh wait, that's that's the sound effect, that's not the music. Still quite quiet. Still too sad, it's so sad. So many, what? Yeah, it's, it's pretty soft. I'm gonna turn up, turn up the volume. I would not be able to take the to pick the individual tracks apart. But, uh, I guess that's ambient music for you. Oh wait, um, I ask also for a jingle. I think this might be it. Oh, I think the jingle is way too slow. Uh, too short, I mean. I think we're gonna uh, need to be working on this a bit more. Uh, but I'm gonna actually try to copy this into the game because you, you never know, right? You never know how things work in in um, in game. I, uh, I hope that that was the right setting for the background uh, stream. It sounds both melancholic and pensive, like it's peaceful, but it sounds good. Yeah. I we're getting there. Um, it's definitely a very unusual to have like chiptune meditative music. This usually chiptune is like blah, 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 you know, like like very cheerful and and in your face. So making ambient music with chiptune is really hard, I think. So that's 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 quite a challenge. But Ruben music is actually pretty good, I think. At it, I think he kind of like has really good techniques to to make these very long. Um, notes <laughs> i don't know I'm, I'm not a musician but uh yeah yeah he has some very cool techniques um and and so far like yeah he's really pushing the 
capabilities of Pico 8. Uh, it's just like uh, about finding the right tone and, <laughs> and in this case the right volume. I think it's still too, too, too soft. Um, but again, we're gonna try to get that. So, how are we going to get it into Pico 8? Yeah, about that. Okay, first, first thing, we're gonna make a copy of our shapes file. First of all, first of all. Uh, then we're gonna go full screen and we're gonna start messing around. Because like copying things from one card to another just doesn't work. I already tried it multiple times. I mean it works, but it just messes up everything. <laughs> yeah, there is a there is the renoiser tool. <laughs> there is a renoiser tool. <laughs> That's right. Um, but um, yeah, I feel the renoiser tool is kind of like something that like like more of a surgical t tool like if you really want to do like major modifications and moving things around and rearranging things i feel like for this task we should be fine with just good old copying text around ah yeah let's let's remove this oh i have stuff in here that you don't want to know about let's just copy on uh, concentrate on this all right so this is our shapes p8 file Oh, I, 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 I'm gonna make something. Can I, oh wait, can I make it bigger? You cannot go just control plus in, 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 in Notepad plus. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we need to find Vemriozak. Ah, okay, maybe, maybe that's a bit zoomed in too far. Okay. <laughs> you can see, you can see the girl. Do you see the girl? <laughs> <laughs> Day six, how long is the jam? Um, it goes uh, until the end of the month. Okay guys, I, I want to zoom in so you can guys can see, but but honestly, honestly, I, I, I'd rather not sacrifice the usability here because this is this is this is major this is major shenanigans okay so we want to copy this that's this music bambalam now these things are are the sound effects at the end we're not going to touch them Okay, so how many lines are these? Wait, so this is one line, right? Uh, what? What? Line 11? Oh, that's line number 11? Okay, yeah, okay, good. Um, so this should get us 24 lines. This is 24 lines of, of, of sound effects. And so the first 24 lines, okay? Uh, so this should be like this. This should be no. This. The flam. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Programming, game development. Uh, I love it. Sounds good. I think we, I think we survived unscathed. It, it, like, it seems like nothing broke because it would be. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Look at this. Oh my gosh, how many files are. It's like half of the sound effects are just for music. Yeah, that's okay. We still have. We could even use more, probably, huh? Mm. 
Okay, keyboard drop cards into Halo. We kind of, didn't we do that already? I thought we did that. Yeah, we can do that. Nope. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't been watching um, the, uh, the morning stream, we spent a, a lot of time a lot of time um, figuring out the perspective corrected thing happening here because there is like um, we have like this beautiful beautiful um, halo here and there's like things in the halo right and and we spent some time figuring out how um, how to make it so that when uh, when those those cards arrive at the edge that they kind of like sync up with the with the flip side and we did it uh, but it took a while and also I, I kind of like want to I'll spend some, maybe some time cleaning up the algorithm that we ended up with it's a bit of a hack um, I tried to make uh, use like the, the same the same formula I had like for the circle drawing but I just could not make it work um, and in the end, I decided for like a multi-stage. I'm gonna maybe explain the algorithm. That's actually gonna be interesting. Maybe for some of you guys. Um, yeah, but it looks good because now like there's like multiple things that the algorithm should achieve. And one of the most important things was that it was like the, the shapes were very clear and readable in the front, like in this area, in the front area. I didn't want to have any distortions happening. Distortions on the edges like here, that's fine. Like the, when it gets like, or like, you know, Crigly, that's okay. On the edges, it's okay. But in the center, I want to have a nice, crisp image. And uh, I think we, we came up with something that, that kind of like works. It's not uh, accurate, but it's, it's it, I think it looks good. So good. A little bit one pixel offset here that I don't I don't like. I think we can we can maybe do a little bit better. Still a bit offset with like one to two pixels to the right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look at at, at the offsets. Maybe maybe there's some something we can tweak. But yeah, no, it's it's cool. But sometimes I like if I look at it too long. I think it's because of this part here. I, I sometimes forget which one is the front and which one is the back. Yeah, I think that this one really because if you look at here, it's, it looks like the Pink is in the front because it. it... <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's look at the code. Let's go into the code mines again. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we did that. Uh, more accurate backset. We kind of did that too. We don't have the Halo completion. And then <laughs> vector girl. Um, Thanks for the reminder. I cannot unsee now. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I think we can get rid of <laughs> of the of the shenanigans that happened before. But uh, you know, see, that's something that kind of like confuses me that that we have this problem because you see, we. 
Maybe it's, it's, a, it's a question of, of these things. Let's go back to 3.0. Do, 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 do. Ah, yeah, that was maybe the question, the problem, huh? I overdid it. Okay, uh, what can we attach? Nothing! We can it oh, Nothing, Lebowski! We are, we are the nihilists, we can attach nothing! We are the nihilists! Yeah, we believe in nothing. Ah oh, man, I think I'm not never gonna get to that. Never, never gonna get it. Never, never, never gonna get it. Let's try it again. Also because the halo doesn't go behind the girls yet, that's probably contributes as well. That's, that's a good point. That is an excellent, excellent point. But still, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, now this looks a lot better. Yeah, yeah, this is this is just so much better. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, so the tweaking I want to do is I want to actually maybe um, the dead zone. I want to maybe per, uh, do it parameter, para, parameter, para, 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 parameter. Para. Hey, Zekatek from South Africa. Nice. I like. Um, um, edge. Let's call it, let's just call it edge. I just want to like figure it out through a parameter how how. Okay, and maybe it maybe it's time to maybe explain 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 how the how the the thing works, right? Give me give me the paint. Give give me the paint. Bring me to mommy. Bring to mommy. Bring me the cream. Hey, you speak African? It's like, <laughs> yeah. See, Jess, it, this is a chat. <laughs> I don't know. Can you can you get his accent from the chat? <laughs> um, okay. So today we spent in the morning we spent some time figuring out the algorithm. Um, the algorithm was what well, the problem was the, the following. We like we had like the 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 halo right we rendered the halo and the halo rendered like some oh you do speak africans nice oh where did they where were some cool accents that i heard somewhere oh yeah yeah obviously i watched the um a black panther Some really nice accents there. Okay, so we have like this, right? And 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 we like initially we had it just like mapped, like everything was just mapped like this. Like we just took whatever the position was, and we um, like on the sash and like on the on the on the halo, and we just just looked it up in the in a tile map and just rendered it on the on the on the front edge of the halo. The problem that we had there is that um, you, you had situations where um, cars would go off the front end and would disappear. And then it would take them a while to reappear on the back side because the back side is basically front side but just flipped. Um, and so it, like the, the cars disappeared and, and reappeared again. It, it wasn't, it didn't look like, like actually like a 3D um, hoop it looked like just the cars disappeared and then reappeared again and that's because like okay it has to do with spacing but it also has to do with the fact or let's let's put it this way it has to do with the spacing um between the cars that it didn't wasn't like correct it was the spacing that we needed for this to work but it, that spacing made it look like this um and the solution for this was to use that extra space that we have like this space 
in this space and kind of like map it onto the onto the onto the front of the halo and so the idea was kind of like to do something like you know when when the cart is here that would be actually this column here and when the cart is here that would be the all the way uh, this in the back in the center it would be just the center but you know you would have like the mapping like this so you would map a wider graphic on a shorter halo and that means that at uh, some parts of the halo would be kind of like squished a little bit but that's kind of okay because that's kind of like also the perspective thing and it would fix that that looping problem okay so uh, the function i was looking for all this time was a function was a mathematical function that kind of went like this like in the center it would be one and on the edges um was it one yeah well i wanted to start with something like one and zero right and the idea is that i would like multiply the position on the on the on this axis with with that function so in the center you would have like just one to one mapping like here but on the other um, on the edges you i would multiply i would divide so as you go to the edges you will you, you kind of like the position would get into infinity but then i the idea was i i thought i could like you know bring it down again a little bit to kind of like find the the sweet spot where it's, it wouldn't go to zero on the edges, but it would go to, you know, zero point, I don't know, three or something, or zero, some kind of X value on the edges. And then that would, um, and then we would achieve this. Like, there were, we would have some kind of X value and that X value would make, um, you know, squish the, the, the texture on the edges. So it fits perfectly. So the entire texture fits perfectly on the on the hoop on the front of the hoop and i couldn't find a good a good formula for this uh, we ran into multiple problems there was also at some point we had a problem that uh, there was not enough precision in in the um because there's like uh, pico 8 uses kind of like unusual way of of saving comma values so we didn't have enough precision in the fixed point math to actually generate a nice smooth image. So I had to work with like, <laughs> instead of like um, values from zero to one, I would have to work with zeros, uh, values from zero to 100. That kind of like messed up the whole math of the whole thing. And also I, I, it was difficult to, to create a function that lets us arrive at this X value without messing, around, mess, uh, messing up this one value. So we had like variations of this function where the center would get like stretched and the edges would get squished. It was just like, it was difficult to, to make it work. So the solution I actually ended up with, the current solution is kind of like a hack, but I'm, I'm kind of happy that it works. We divide this function into three areas. And like in the center, it's just one. It's just like solid one. And on the edges, it's, it's like this. It's just a straight slope, two linear functions, and they go, go, go toward, towards x. And that's it. And then, so I kind of, in the center, I kind of have, have like a, I call it a dead zone, where there is no curvature whatsoever, or there is no squishing and stretching. It's just like, um, uh, just taking the texture straight. And on the edges, we get a little bit of, bit of a, um, a squish. People from Belgium in here. Oh, interesting. Many poor people speak Zulu and then Africans in South Africa. That's interesting. Huh. I need to go to South Africa once. Yeah, that's that's morning stream was a math journey for sure. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So, so we have like this three stage. Frankenstein of a function, but it works and it kind of like it looks fine, right? And it it saves us the headaches. <laughs> that was a really solid solution. I don't know. I wouldn't call it solid. <laughs> I would call it cheating. But um, you know, nobody. Oops, wrong button. Sorry. 
Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> it, it looks fine. And I probably should have maybe <laughs> taken it early, I don't know. Yeah, you get like the really nice uh, looking... Um, oh, by the way, what is our performance? Oh, ooh. Yeah, it looks good as well. Oh, this counts, I agree. For me this afternoon, I'm from Peru, which is South America. For those unaware. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so now we have this, and now I'm kind of like tweaking this. So, um, so you see, this is the the function that we arrived with, and uh, this part here, that's that's kind of like the the flat area of the function, and this is the left side of the function, and this is the right side of the function. And right now, and and, and here, this if statement is kind of checks where we are. Are we on the left side? Then we do this. Are we on the right side? We do this. And right now I'm kind of like trying to figure out, um, trying to make it so that this 0 0.3 and 0 0.7, that these things are something I can change with a single a variable. So I can maybe tweak um, this dead zone in the center, this, this flat zone. So, because I want to kind of find out what, what a good sweet spot for that is. Maybe there's, there's, it looks fine now, but maybe it could look even finer. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's what I'm working on right now. So, do, 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 do. Okay, so far nothing's changed. Uh, I'm gonna try something like this, something really extreme. I wanna see an extreme value. Oh, see? That's, that's, that ain't looking good. You can see like the step here. Yeah, that's not good. Um, 0 0.2, maybe 0 0.3 was actually a good value. Oh, but I do like the 0 0.2 here. I don't see the big step here. And we have more usable space, I feel. Let's try to get it uh, a full picture. Let's get, get, try to get the full, uh, the full ring to see how that looks like. Uh, oh my god. We need this bad boy or this bad boy. Uh, oh man. Let's restart. Oh man. My daughter is, is crying in bed. She was very sleepy today. She went to bed very early. Okay, whatever. Yeah, that's okay. See, the reason why it's okay, especially okay, I think, is because um, the way I, I draw this, you get, like, it's a straight line here, and then it gets, it get, like, here's where it actually starts, um, starts actually di um, turning diagonal. And and that's also when you when the squishing starts. So I feel like this is this is good. Don't you want to complete the loop by using all the cards? No, no, no. That was that wasn't the plan. Although it looks a bit square, I have to say. Let's let's see how zero point three looks again. Um, just 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 to see. Just to see, just to remind ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh man, what 
Pistis. I cannot, I cannot. Is it like Loki, solitaire? Yes, it's solitaire. It's literally solitaire. It's just, <laughs> it's just not using cards, but like these weird shapes. I do like the 0 0.3 though. Uh, yeah, so um, yes, the goal is to get rid of the cars and yeah, 0 0.3 looks better, I, th I agree. Yeah, so the idea is once you complete the loop, the, loop, uh, the cars should disappear. Mm, the loop should get completed and then maybe it's, it's gonna be uh, turned into uh, like a ball or something that flies around. But um, I'm, I'm not there yet. <laughs> Okay, I'm not there yet, don't stress me out. <laughs> but yeah, the loop should, like at this point, this should disappear. And uh, you can start start building the second loop. Yeah, 0 0.3, I think we arrived. But it's good to know, I guess, right? It's good to know that that, uh, that 0 0.3 was the, was the right version, the right number all along. I just realized I made a mistake here. What? Smelly fish sticks, nice. Hello. Greetings. Oh, there's no edge. Am I taking crazy pills? Oh, okay, you got it. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. The halo has been tamed, yeah. Really, we have nothing here. Really, the thing is, I always drop like some random piece into the into the into the halo. But I think like this is the, like the first decision of what you drop in there should be like a really like it w I think if you play the game correctly, I think and this is my 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 gut feeling is that you should probably like sit for a second and then really think through your strat for the first mo couple of moves, just to make sure that you don't get stuck in it immediately. Because I think it's very easy to get stuck immediately. Yeah, 
Yeah, now this looks good. This is this is fine. What what am I even doing tweaking this? Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is good. Now we don't need the else statement here technically. And then here we can do like a plus equals. Because we're already starting with a one in there. Um making sure that it's not like somehow completely broken. You remade the, the halo using regular trigonometry. Like what, how do you mean regular trigonometry? This is trigonometry. <laughs> you mean sine and cosine? Is that what you're saying? Oh man, I'm retired. What? There's a one pixel offset? No. It's not. There's no. What do you mean? Where's one pixel offset? I don't see a pixel offset. Ah. Arc co uh, cosine. The forbidden functions. Ah, uh, I see, I see it now. I see it now. See, I'm not gonna touch it because it's this will all gonna get covered up by the by the head. <laughs> but I, yeah, if we, if we need it, I will fix it. It's fine. It's just like a zero point, like a little little tweaker Rooney somewhere. Why do we have a S? What is the S doing? What is the S for? I think the S is not doing anything anymore. I think that's fine. I think I think we can do that. Yeah, there's no idea. I think that was like from a previous version of that of that algorithm. Something I have on a list of changes I'd like to prototype at some point is to do rotating planets looking good. I would imagine a similar process. Yeah, I think so. And that's something that I, I think um, we had quite a lot of people in the community already doing. So maybe it might be worthwhile uh, looking for uh, previous attempts at doing this and seeing if, if you can get inspirations. Now this PRG thing, are we using this? Yeah, we're using it here. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Just want to make sure. Um, now the HLP is actually something that I haven't done a local on. So let's do that real quick. And I feel almost you could do the, you could do this first. Nah, it's good, but uh, we can we can afford to be a little bit more compact. Lol, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sitting down and, and figuring it out yourself. Yeah, that might be. Sometimes that's that's more important. And it's not not what other people did, but but what you can actually do yourself. Okay. Good. 
I think I think we we figured this out. Good, good. Okay, Halo completion might be something that we do next. Um, that would allow us actually to finish a level. Um. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Okay. Um, hmm. thinking about this right now. Because this is also um, a bit of a gameplay question, whether I allow um, multiple loops or if whether each loop has become completed individually. Because in a tutorial I had, uh, in a prototype I had, I, uh, it was possible to create a loop out of, like multiple loops. <laughs> so I have, to, I have to maybe explain. So you could, uh, right now a loop is six cards, and the six cards circle back on it themselves, then the loop is completed. Uh, in a prototype I had, you, if you're, um, like if you dropped in the sixth card, and the six card completed the loop, the, loop, uh, the, the halo would disappear. Um, but it was possible, like let's say you have five cards in a halo, and you drag in two more cards, then you have more than five cards in the loop. And that was fine, like the, 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 the prototype would allow that and then you would have then more than six cards in the loop and then the goal was to complete a 12 card loop. Um, and then that loop would disappear and then it was possible to even complete a 18 card loop. Um, and that was kind of like, I, I thought, okay, that, that was kind of neat that you could do that. Um, but uh, in order to do that, you have to drag in more cards than than six in like at once in, in one go. Um, so the question is like if you drop in exactly like let's say you have five cards in a loop, and you drag in a six card, but that six card would not complete a loop. What happens then? Does it reject the fifth card? Like it's like it's okay it's, if there's six cards in a loop, they have to be completed, or does it open a twelve card loop? My gut feeling, it's, it's, there's like two ways of going this. Like you could open up a 12 card loop, um, but then people might not be uh, not really understand why they cannot close the loop on the on the halo. But then if you say like, okay, you have to drag in more cards than six in order to open up the 12 card loop then there is a danger that people might um, might miss that this is possible. But maybe that's fine, then this is going to be something that they did discover. Or there's a third opportunity, we just drop, drop the 12 and six, 18 card loops whatsoever. That's just like, pff, just six card loops only, which would be also okay. It just looked like it would be a bit less rich game. Um, and I think, uh, talking through this, I think I realized that I probably want to have... Um, yeah, I probably want to focus on the six card loops first. Uh, and do not allow more cards uh, in the, uh, the Halo 4 now. And then if we figured everything out, then we can maybe add this as an expansion, as a new game mechanic, to 12 and 18 card loops. So we're gonna say like if um, 
Hashtag LNI. Uh, plus hashtag halo is greater than six then um, fail now else if and then there's gonna be the else situation. This is, this is a bit not cool because we're repeating a lot of stuff, but okay. Mm. Okay, so now we cannot drag in more than we... Huh. Because here's the thing, like adding things to, to the, the loop is difficult enough. But, well actually, Never mind. I got it. Um, so when it, you're putting in your last card, it actually doesn't matter if you're adding from the front or from the back. So. You can just repeat, repeat this code. It's, again, it's a repeating code is not ideal, but I just want to see something. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, this is actually... Oh, man. <laughs> No, this is difficult. Uh, it's kind of like a special case, I guess. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so many if statements. Ah, my head. Okay. Okay, so if we try to dra drag in too much, it's not good. If we're dragging um, in as much as we uh, have to complete a loop, then th things get complicated. Um, because there's multiple possibilities. We could be just dragging all six cards at once, in, in which case I want to I wanna connect them and then and fail out if, they, if the, the loop that we're trying to drag in is, is not connecting. So let's just do that. <laughs> Just do that first. Mm. Um, I want the last card and the first card to connect. Yeah. Uh, in this case, we're copying everything in there. Uh, we can say, uh, actually in this case, we can just say, we don't have to need to copy anything. We can just go, um, Halo equals uh, drag. Um, else if hashtag LNE is greater than 
one and uh, greater than zero. Okay, in this case, I wanna make sure that, I don't know, the last of the line connects to the first of the drag and the last of the drag connects, connects to the first of the line. Somehow my protectors was way easier. <laughs> I don't know why. Mm. Wait, 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 this is wrong. This is all wrong. No, no. Okay, yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh, last of the line collect and the last of the drag connects to the LNE one. In this case, we're just copying everything in there. And uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go do, do a clear indicator here that this is, then we have to clear everything. <laughs> um, yeah, and otherwise we, we're, we're not, not doing anything. Now this is bad because this code and this code is kind of repeated. That, that's the only thing that bothers me. Otherwise, yeah, let's see, let's see if this works. Um, so I wanna, <clears throat> to test this, I want to actually have a full line in there and then I will try to, oh man, I, I always have to play this game, but it's actually, it's actually fine. It's actually not that bad because I get to play the game. Um, Not use this. Ah! Uh, yeah, we can use this. I oh, see now. I want to get rid of this guy <laughs> because I want to get to this piece. Ah! Oh wait, I can use it. No, I can't. I can cannot. Oh, I can get this over here. No, wait, stop, what I'm doing? What? What? How is this not connecting? This should be connecting to the, to the side. Oh, I think that's a bug, huh? Am I taking crazy pills? It should be connecting. Let's do some debug. Too many cards. I thought they rotated clockwise, aren't they? Oh, you're right, it's counterclockwise. <laughs> I meant counterclockwise. <laughs> because counterclockwise is... Yeah, counterclockwise is the way... Yeah, the way you orbit, or the way the, the Earth spins. It's, it's counterclockwise, right?
Ah, see? It says loop won't close. That was the last time as well, but, but actually it's not, not, not the case. So what's the problem here? So we're here, hashtag line plus hashtag halo. Oh, halo? Ah, uh, drag. Yeah, that was the problem. But man, I'm relieved that it was this like a newly introduced bug and that's something that I missed all this time. Rotation of the Earth, doesn't that depend on which pole you're observing from? Yeah, but <laughs> we're observing usually from north, right? Okay, guys, okay, okay, okay. I'm about to complete the loop. It allowed me to complete the loop. Okay, so now we, we basically would have to, um, so yeah, let's, let's just do like an, like a experimental, um, uh, just the halo will just like uh, turn to empty. Righty tighty lefty Lucy. Yeah, I don't know. I always get it confused either way, even with the with that that doesn't really help me that much. <laughs> That's just not how my, my brain works. But I'm having troubles um, recognizing left and right from each other. That's a me problem. Oh, actually, it would be nice if we could try to pop in something that won't close the loop to see if, if my safeguards work. So it would be nice if we can pop, pop in this one. Uh, can we get this somehow on there? We would get to attach it to this one. Mm, tough. Probably not going to do that. We'd have to get rid of this guy. Yeah, no, not going to happen. Okay, but we can at least close this loop. BAM! See? Now it's gone. See, see, this is this is the game. <laughs> this is the game. This is the devious game that I just came up with. Mm. You cannot actually complete this game anymore, unless unless we can get this out somehow. But oh yeah, we, we might be able to. Okay, maybe we can complete it after all. Let's see. No, we cannot complete this game anymore because look. See, we, we, they don't fit, they, the colors are the same. You cannot co close this, the third loop. You cannot close, you see? You, I played myself, I played myself. <laughs> so, you know, this looks like an easy, easy piece of solitaire kind of game, like, oh, it's just, oof whatever just drag the next one in it's gonna be fine but actually you have to pay attention to how you build the loops um, that you actually uh, the game allows you to alternate the colors in a way that will actually get you stuck um, so you have to be actually more careful about how you build the loops so they have more variety in them so to speak so they, they, they actually cycle through all of the colors so that later on when you build your last loop we have um, more corals are available to actually close the, the third loop. So let's see if we can if we can actually uh, finish this game. This is going to be now the test. Uh, can Christian uh, 
is Christian smart enough to master his own very own game? And see, like this is probably a problematic thing because we're just alternating between the same two colors. So ideally, I would get it into green one. But you know, for now we can just keep it, we can later disassemble it if you want to. I just want to have access to more. Okay, let's, let's just drag, drag this one in here. I want to get to this guy. Okay. Now we kind of want to get to this guy. I'm probably overdoing it. But how about we get this guy in here and this guy. And we can get this guy down. Uh, and then we need the blue to close. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We need this piece. But we cannot get it to here. We would have to attach it to here. But in order to attach it to here, we need to get this one out. But we already can't attach this. <laughs> ah, no. No. But maybe if we can get this guy away. Yes, we can. Then we can get the, rid of this bad boy. Oh yeah, look at this, look. And we can get this in here. No wait, that's not the one. We wanted to have the blue one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam. Should should you build the first the loops first and drop uh, drop them in the halo? You can do that too. Uh, we actually want to try this because this is actually something. <laughs> yeah, see now it just disappeared. We probably want to have better visual visualization. And that's how you complete the game. It, it's, it's, I'm, I'm happy with the way it works. Uh, okay, so uh, immediately we have Kayla completion. Um, obviously it'll come later, but we need some kind of juice when it, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, don't get me wrong, this, there's gonna be plenty of juice. But for now, I think just like to make sure to take, for us to like debugging purposes to just know that something is happening. I'm gonna maybe do like a Oh no! Oh! <laughs> I, I wish there was a way of just like locking Pico 8 to a certain size. You need to keep an eye on the performance though. Ah. I mean, if. <clears throat> it's fine. I, there's not gonna be a, much more elements anymore. We, we're, we're fine. Um, we're not, we are still, like, we're still running things in 60 frames per second, uh, right? We're running things in 60 frames per second, so we could go down to 30 frames per second if we really needed it, but we're just like, at 0 0.3, like, there's nothing. I mean, okay, um, and, and actually it's already renders the, the halo, right? It's, it's, yeah, no, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it will be fine. Um, yeah, let me, let me. Let me get a sound effect going. That's not what I want. Ta -da! Can it, like it? Come here. OK, 
Okay, and then let's get some arpeggio in there maybe. Or maybe vibrato. Sounds a bit arcadey, um, but you know, um, and a bit more <laughs> lo-fi. Let's, let's let's run with this. So we kind of have this going. Now let's do like a future problem. Um, um, I feel like before we do that, um, Halo Clear Juice. Uh, and then later on, we're going to go. Um, 12 loops and 16, uh, 18 loops. So I, I want to, I want to hear the sound effect now. So many yellows. They're they're ruining my vibes right now. It, am I stuck again? Dang it! What? Am I stuck again? Really? Oh. Me no like it. Oh, could you, look how much yellow there is. And green and no blue. <laughs> I'm getting mad at my own game. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a very special. Very special kind of feeling, <laughs> getting owned by your own game. <laughs> what is this? Come on! Uh... <laughs> I love it. I love this so much. Oh. Uh, 
I'm, I, I know I should be probably thinking more about where I put what, but... I, I'm fine with just brute force. <laughs> Look at how I put any blues! This is so unfair! <laughs> this game knows what I need and it doesn't give me it. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just having so much fun. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, I cannot get this. I need the yellow wavy line. It's over there. Oh, I can also get this. <laughs> what? You know that it works. Can I get this guy? I need to get this guy. Uh-oh, but look how much yellow we have. Well, we can get this guy. Oh, but actually we don't want to get more rid of, get rid of even more blue. But we kind of have to, right? I think we won't be able to complete this now. I cannot use this. I have to use this. I have to get rid of this bad boy. Da -da 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 oh man, can I actually complete this? No, see, it doesn't quite connect. <laughs> I can get this into the halo, but mm -mm. Mm -mm. I kind of like this. I like I like when you were playing a game. And you you're almost finished, but then there's one last thing that that's kind of, like you you discover that you're that you lost um, like in, on the last step before the end. I think this is really fun. That's something that we had in or not fun, but it's I think it's very motivating um, because you feel like you're almost there, and it's like ah. Oh. We had that in My Chance Sweet Buns as well. We often were, you know, the final three cards were the most difficult to, um, to to defeat, and so people went like, "Oh, I'm going, I'm going back in again. <laughs> I can get those last three cards," you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's gonna be a reset button for sure. And it's yeah, you're right. You, um, that's the important part. That's something I learned from. Um, um, What's his face? Um, Zectronic from the Zectronic Solitaire games. Um, so the Zectronic, uh, Zectronic Solitaire games were actually um, are consistently um, they not using any hidden information. Uh, they are all uh, open information, which is kind of unusual for um, Solitaire because you know a lot of Solitaire games have like you know oh, if, if you uncover this card, then you can flip this face down card and see what it is, uh, which is nice because it's. Uh, it can be nice because the discovery is fun and you don't have to overthink. Um, but uh, quite often what, what would happen is like you discover the face down card and it's the card that doesn't help you right now and then it's it's gone. Like it now and then it's... Uh, you defeat it basically. So... So it's it's kind of fun that um, and so Zectronic, um, Zectronic's solitaire things was always uh, there was no hidden information. So technically, technically you could always think things through and 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 find a solution. But in reality, of obviously you kind of like using some heuristics. So uh, because it's like impossible to think all of this through, or at least for me it's impossible. So. Um, but at least you have the, um, there is like this um, excuse, or you have the, it feels like more like your fault when you, when you get stuck than, than when it's the random card. Um, so the turtle uh, quitty says, um, that uh, the computer let makes sure that you can win at lower difficulty levels. I don't know, do you know of any solitaire games that do that? Where they kind of randomize the cards in favor for the player? That would be kind of amazing. Really? They do? Wow, they must have some really cool algorithms to find out. 
Hmm. All right, guys, so I have some time left. And uh, since I have some time left, I, I like in a half an hour, I want to, to finish the stream. Um, up to medium if memory serves. Interesting. I have to dig up some information of how they do this. Um, so before uh, uh, we finish the stream for today, uh, I wanted to maybe approach this vector girl problem because I think that's a kind of like a major thing. Also, maybe once we're here, uh, let's let's add as next step finishing level level select um, skeleton. Um, then reset, restart UI. Uh, I'm not sure how do I, I'm going to do that. Um, it's possible that that I will just use the the menu here to re uh, reset the the level. Just a menu item. I think that's it's a bit hidden. But I think it's maybe better if there's like a button somewhere. I, I don't know. I think that might be fine. You guys let me know if you have strong feelings about this. Okay, so the vector girl is kind of a problem that we have. Um, <laughs> it, is, it is a bit of a problem. Um, the problem is we have to give a vector girl, right? And so, I, as, as I already said previously, I wanted to the vector girl to be. Um, also, by the way, also I, I thought. What? Oh, I'm in the wrong. All right. So we have this vector girl, and that's kind of from the graphic, and she's kind of very important. Yeah, you cannot really hit it uh, in accident. The only problem I have with the menu is that it's not really visible for people, especially if you're using just a mouse. Um, so we might have like a menu button, that might be a good idea, and then the menu bu button will pop up the menu of Pico8. By the way, can you use the Pico8 menu with a mouse? Is that possible? No, you can't. I don't know, we, we're gonna think about this. Um, so we want to have this girl, and I already said, we want this girl to be vector. Art. We don't want her to be just like a sprite. We could leave her as sprite, but I wanted to make her as vectors. How many tokens are we, by the way? Just to assume, just so we know where we are. <laughs> We're not even f fourth way in. It's fine. Um, so we want to um, make vectorize her. I mean, the reason why I want her, like it's it's fine. Like it's it's, it's a good resolution right now, and we don't necessarily need her as vector. But making her as vector would give us a huge advantage in that um, we would be able to um, animate her a little bit. Because right now she's not really animated and doing like sprite animations at this size is difficult to create, especially since I wanted the animation also to be kind of subtle and, and um, um, not, not like sudden jerky animations, you know, but, but like, like, you know, breathing and maybe I wanted to like have like a breathing animation which has like lots of frames and it, with a huge spread like this is not really doable. But we could break her apart into smaller smarts and uh, sprites and make it work and I might but I think and uh, I w would like to try to do vector art. I haven't been doing a lot of vector stuff in Pico 8 so that might be fun. So basically it's going to be a whole bunch of line statements. Yeah maybe. Um, so a whole bunch of line statements um, to create her outlines. And uh, the problem we get with that <laughs> is that No, 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 it's not. It's, everybody's like so, <laughs> so hung up on the T-line. <laughs> T-line is great, guys. <laughs> But, but it's a, like a very narrow specific, <laughs> very narrow specific use. I think T-Line is really great if you have like a, a big texture in the map and then you want to do something with a texture in the map. I think that's, that's really, for T-Line is really great for that. Uh, and rot, rot, sprite rotations, that's okay. 
<laughs> till Linus så kallar man det the hammer to every, every nail that Pink Raid has. <laughs> yeah, and I... I never used it myself. Yeah, I didn't never use it myself. I did some experiments for the uh, for the videos when it came out, but um, <laughs> they didn't work so great. So I was like, ah, I, I'm gonna show you how it's how, what the, the theory is behind it. And I'm gonna wait until somebody else figures out how to make it work. But I might actually return to it. I I wanted to make a mode seven thing to make like a Mario Kart. Um, and I did some experiments with that, and uh, actually from the code in, in the video I, I made about T-Lines, and I realized that the map was too small, um, that if you made like a one track of Mario Kart using the entire sprite sheet, um, uh, the entire map in Pico 8, so even like half the sprite sheet, um, even then, the pixels would be so chunky, it wouldn't really look like Mario Kart. Um, so I, um, so yeah, I kind of like abandoned the idea and I guess like, okay, if you want to do Mario Kart, you have to do it some, some other way. But then very far, you know, a couple of versions later, um, Zep introduced the larger a tile set, the larger a map, I mean, the larger map that you can do now. And that kind of brought the idea of Mario Kart back on the on the, on the the table. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you want to do vector graphics. Um, Xstars Cube, first time chat. For the reset, is the game going to know when the player should be resetting the game? Maybe press enter to reset prompt when your an unavoidable scenario would be an okay compromise. Hi, by the way. Hey, hi. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I think if you're um, if you completed your second loop, um, then I can do a scan of all of the um, all of the remaining pieces on the board and say like, okay. With the pieces that you have on the board, you can complete. You do want to try it restart, like a like a little button maybe somewhere. Like, would you like to restart? <laughs> I don't think you can do it anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, micro machines, guys. Have you seen this? There's this amazing game. This the guy also went to uh, Mastodon, which I, I'm at by the way. Um, and maybe I should post my Mastodon handle as well. I'm Chris Chrisman as well. The same handle as in, in on Twitter. Um, but yeah, there's this guy who makes a micro machines in, in Unity, and it looks really good. <laughs> it's just like a 3D micro machines, but it's really nice and detailed, and it has the, it's exactly the same perspective, also using like um, household items. Uh, but and also lose like he always posts new new screenshots and there's always always like what uh, like for example he had a thing where he had a calculator like a you know desktop calculator and you could race across the keyboard and the calculator would actually work <laughs> so you could like race across and, and and type numbers on the calculator type boobies and everything <laughs> it's, it's uh, I think that's a really nice detail. Anyway, um, Micro Machines detailed, this feels wrong. Well, I mean, it's still cartoony to some extent, but it's kind of like, um, would, would that like this delightful details that you had in original Micro Machines, where you had like this you know, close up view of everyday items, like <laughs> racing across the breakfast table again, um, among the Fruit Loops and everything. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so the problem with the girl that we have right now is that um, we basically have to create a whole bunch of line statements, and obviously, I don't want don't, don't want to create this. I don't want to hard code the line statements. I want to have like a huge array, and then I'm going to loop through the array and just line statement everything. But. How do we get that array? <laughs> That's the problem. So what I'm thinking basically is we kind of have to write our own editor, <laughs> our own um, vector art editor, basically. It's, 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 I think, what we have to do. I think that's what we have to do. 
Tools, tools, tools. <laughs> okay. Um, let's save a vector. Let's call it Victor. Just, just because Vector Victor is, is uh, Victor the Vector uh, editor is uh, seems seems fun to me. And we're gonna delete everything. Delete everything. And we're gonna start from scratch. Rooney. What is Vector Victor? That's right. So effective. <laughs> I make a lot of tools for my projects from a P8 game. I would make sometimes. Wait, I want. I make a, a lot of tools for my projects for my Pico 8 game. I want to make sometime in the future. I want to make a map editor card because I want to compress it down. So I'm mulling over uh, that a tiny bit. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's always a bit, it feels a bit bad if you when you re recreate an editor that was already in Pico 8. Oh, I deleted everything because this is a new card. This is a new version. This is uh, uh, this is a new uh, a new program I'm creating. I'm creating an editor for vector art. Don't worry, it's fine. It will be fine, <laughs> hopefully. Um, what now? Well, we still have the girl here, but actually I might get a different version of the girl because this girl has like the fills, the, um, and I don't like the fills. I, I want to just have the lines, and I have I have to prepare it somehow, somewhere in, in Photoshop. Yeah, uh, there is a way of doing a polyfill. Um, I have to get <clears throat> a, a function for that. I have to look up the um, the forums. There is actually somebody actually already, already did the vector editor for like shapes, but I want to create a, my own one. I want to roll my own. I want to see how that looks like. Uh, and as for the fills, again, we're gonna figure things out later on. For now, I want to because we, the fills are not hundred percent necessary. We can the, the girl looks fine without the fills. So, um, but for now, I want to get where is the where is it? Oh, I, I did it in Esprite. I did not, I, uh, wait, did, I did not clean her up? Wait, I'm looking for the right, I, I will show you in a second. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so um, we call it pixel woman. So I have the clothes, I have the shading, I have the, I have this shading. Yeah, I just want the line art. I want to just get the line art out. Oops. No! Ah! Okay, okay, got it. That, that's what I want. Just delete the clothes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, you, yeah, the layers are. See, I think sometimes you, you, you have a bit too, too many layers. I think. Where does, does, the, does the, the. Where do the, the bubbles come from? Ah, whatever. Uh, just 
edit crop. Yeah, it's kind of like you have to balance things out. Sometimes layers are good because they make everything nice and reversible, but sometimes they just like you're maintaining this huge layer selection for a functionality that, that you never never actually never actually uh, end up using. So it's, it's a bit difficult. Uh, save as PNG girl. Oops. Girl, girl, nine. Yes, just, just whatever, man. Uh, what? Oh, oh! I have to, I have to click on something, right? What? A what? A what to? Um. Oh man, I, I feel like um, I, I actually used, I just copied the, over the the file that we had previously, but I'm just realizing that it's actually probably not good. I just like to, to, gonna delete everything and I'm just gonna put her in the, in the top edge. I think that's probably better than squeezing her in the, in the corner. Nobody puts my girl in the corner. Cleaning this up is, is more cumbersome than it needed to be. But sometimes you just want to like vibe want to just chill out and do some manual work on your game you know just like honest pixel work <laughs> uh, okay there we go um now i am thinking of maybe using like this as background i think that's always a nice background for what what oh right 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 i have to go like here Um, I got her in here because basically that's going to be the goal of the, this entire uh, entire card is to create a kind of like a program that uh, allows me to create vector art and I want to just retrace her basically. Let's save this. So that's nine. Uh -oh. um, yeah, I want to manipulate the edges. Like I again, I want to animate her a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, this. I know. Why don't just SSPR? Whatever. Whatever. Eighty-two, sixty-six. Sixty-six. Ah, uh, 
There we go. We can maybe put her a bit more central. Oh, what? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, this is a bit of a... Maybe later on I will I will actually make sure that she's centered. Well, she can never be centered, sadly, because she's... Um, yeah, there we go. So we, now the goal is to retrace her. Victor, Victor, why Vector? Victor, Victor. Okay, um, so... So what I'm thinking is... Let me think about this real quick. So we want to have... Victor, Victor. <laughs> Finally, don't grow. Oh, my homework for today. Now all I have left is a research paper that is worth half of my grade. Wow, that's a, that's a one hell of a research paper. Yeah, not, not too much time left. <clears throat> so <laughs> let's let me just call it V. I think it's going to be easier. It's, uh, or VS, VS, VSSTR, V string, right? That is going to be a V string, a, a string of Vs. Uh, and what I'm thinking is it's going to be just like really simple, um, just like a position, a, 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 like one position, 64, 64. Or let's, let's, let's make it 0, 0. I, I want the center of the screen to be 0, 0. Um, and then... Yeah, let's, let's actually do even like a P-set. 64, 64. With a gray. Oh, or let's do it after we draw the girl. Did, did we lose the music? Uh, Wait, that's just... Okay, right now, this is just straight... YouTube, why do you do this to me? This is just like... This is just like Stardew Valley music. I, I want the lo-fi versions. Let's do some Zelda. Let's go back to Zelda. Okay, so... Yeah, this is now the center, basically. Oh, that's that's good. So that allows me to uh, to uh, center her a little bit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, that's it. That's that's good. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. Um. Yeah, maybe something like this. Oh, wait! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So she has an odd number of pixels in width, so she can never be centered on the screen because the center, this, the screen has an even number of, um, of pixels. But that's okay. Okay, so we, when you have like a vector, and let's, let's say like a vector vector, <laughs> I, I, can never, I can never undo this. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Um, something like this, right? We have a string here, and then we're gonna go do something like v, v draw, v string. Okay, um, we can actually maybe do something like v data equals equals split v string um, so that will turn it in an array and then we can just do, say v draw v data and then it's going to be function v draw Is that a Pokemon reference? I, I don't understand. Mm, how do I do a pipe? Hmm. Ah, 
there we go. Okay, because here's the thing, I want to have the two-dimensional uh, array. Um, eight. I actually have a, a function prepared for this. Um, up do, do, da, there we go split 2d like this uh, split 2d is a function I'm using all the time I, I feel I almost feel like it could be part of the Pico 8 set I don't uh, even know what I'm saying so basically it's like um, it's um, using a string, splitting a string in a two-dimensional array. Um, using a split function that the Pico 8 has, that kind of like takes a string that is comma separate the values and turns that into an array. But then use then the pipe character to turn this into a two-dimensional array. So now um, this is an array, this is an one array. And then we're gonna get an array of arrays basically. And um, this is like next array, this pipe uh, says next array. I was looking uh, at Gen 2 for reference and the player is always not centered because the screen is actually 10 tiles wide. Oh, you mean, ah, I, I see, in, in Pokemon, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, four. Uh, uh, let's go to VD. For V, in VD do in all VD do and we're just gonna do a line you are in the dark world you are in the dark world you are in the dark world. You are in the dark world. It's not working. What? Why is not working? Just adding 64 to everything. D D D D D. Gah! Can't you use unpack for the line and put the color call outside the line? Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I I was thinking about this. Um, I don't want to do this. Um, because because of exactly the thing I was doing right now. Uh, because I want to, for example, to be able to transform or, or position the vector where I'm drawing the vector. And if I just unpack directly into the line, I cannot modify the integral values, I feel, right? Or it's, I, I guess I could, but, but it would be more difficult. Yeah, but I was definitely thinking like just like uh, dumping everything into, into line and then that will also allow me to maybe modify the color. Could you shift the camera? Yes, I could shift the camera, that's true. But I don't like shifting camera. <laughs> I don't like how you, it's like this whole function call every time and then you have to shift it back. I don't like doing this. Because like later on, maybe I will have like a VDraw function and then a position where I'm drawing the vector and then I can just add this. 
I don't know. It's, it kind of like depends on what you want to be using it for. I, I think this, this is something I, 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 I want to try this. So the only thing that we that's left to do is now is we have to create like an editor that allows us to just, you know, like probably we're going to have to use a mouse, right? So we have like click, 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 click. So we can like click on the on this, this wavy line and then recreate all those lines here as vectors, as Victor's vectors. <laughs> and then... Um, and then that's gonna be it. And then we can import that. And yeah, and of course we have to also think of how we're gonna shade the hair and everything. That's oh, it's gonna be a bit difficult. We have to, we have to, we're gonna get get back to that later on. All right. This is gonna be it for today. It's, it's getting late, I want to, so just straight lines. That definitely cuts the performance cost a lot compared to, what do you mean? Oh, you mean like vector art with like, um, <laughs> what's my idea? Yeah. You mean like um, Bezier and everything? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. It's, uh, with Pico 8, I don't think it's necessary because it's just like, the resolution is so low uh, and the tokens are so precious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, if the resolution is really high, then that's uh, that makes sense because then you can like create very smooth and very high resolution art with very little points uh, at any kind of resolution. But with Pico 8, the resolution is so low anyway. Uh, yeah, anyway, good. So um, tomorrow morning is going to be a longer stream. Um, we're going to try to get the girl going on tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow evening there's not going to be a stream because I will be hanging out with my buddies and we're going to play some board games. And that's also very, very important. Um, but then on the weekend, hopefully, at least on uh, Saturday, I should have like a huge chunk of time, hopefully, where we can get a lot of work done. So I am looking forward to that. Okay, adios. Thank you so much for joining me. It was really, really great fun. Some good progress here. I like it. Oh, the dentist. Yeah, the dentist appointment was fine. It was very short. I was, I was nervous myself a little bit, but it was literally like two minutes. <laughs> and then the, the dentist was really nice and she talked to, to my, my daughter and she was like very nervous as well. But, but yeah, it went fine, it went fine. Adios everybody, adios chat. Thank you for hanging out and, and see you tomorrow or on the weekend. I don't know, bye bye. Hello, <laughs> <laughs>